In this video, I'm going to go over how you can save ten to twenty thousand dollars by utilizing Coursera and creating your own cybersecurity bootcamp. This video is sponsored by Coursera, but all of the opinions are my own, and they do have a special deal going on right now that gives you $200 off their yearly subscription plan. A lot of people ask me, are cybersecurity boot camps worth it? I've done a lot of research on cybersecurity boot camps and whether or not I think they are worth it. Now, a common reoccurring theme that I came across is a lot of boot camps, especially college cybersecurity boot camps put on by various universities, are usually outsourced to a third party curriculum developer. Now, these have basically the same curriculum, the same labs, the same opt in pages, even the same emails. They just changed the logo of that university. The one thing that did change, though, was that price tag. If you go through all of those syllabuses, you're also going to realize a lot of them are also the same. One thing that a cybersecurity boot camp is absolutely fantastic at is teaching you the fundamentals of cybersecurity. That is what we're going to take a look at right now. And then I'm going to show you how you create your own cybersecurity boot camp. So let's take a look at this syllabus. Let's go. The syllabus that shows up across many different cybersecurity boot camps. If we look, it all starts out with the cybersecurity basics. You'll learn the basics of cybersecurity, so best practices, specializations, and all of that. You'll learn different types of cybersecurity attacks, such as social engineering and things of that sort. The next part is host based security. So think about things like patching, hardening, secure configuration. Learn basically how to remediate vulnerabilities, I'm guessing, and patch computers. Next is network security. So you go over firewalls, IoT, things of that sort. So pretty cool. After that, you're going to learn things such as the identity access management. Now, this is one of the most important disciplines within cybersecurity because as we migrate to the cloud, identity access management is basically the new perimeter for everything. So IAM is super hot. Next is cryptography. Honestly, I don't know that much about crypto cryptography. Next is security architecture. So this is interesting. I don't know how in depth they're gonna go with security architecture. It looks like it's just going over policies, processes, and technologies. So not too in depth. Next, we have security assessment and testing. So this looks like you're going to learn how to conduct security assessments and remediation activities, learning the basics of GRC policies. And then it looks like then they go into AI curriculum and how to utilize that and respond. AI is going to be extremely big in the future. I definitely suggest looking into it as it is going to automate a lot of jobs, which is fantastic because more and more will be created that are way, way more interesting. And it looks like you gain practical skills. So there's 55 labs, 30 mini projects and one capstone project. This honestly is absolutely fantastic at teaching you the fundamentals of cybersecurity. The thing is in a good job market, it may not be that difficult to land a job with a boot camp. in a rougher, job market with not as many opportunities as the one that we are going in, you're going to have an unfair advantage that a lot of other people don't have. Uh, you're going to do that by having a specialization. So while this has a capstone project, it looks like it's a structured walkthrough pen test for a fictional company. So you're going to go and perform reconnaissance, targets, scans, vulnerabilities, assessments, and final reports. It looks like the whole thing just prepares you for security plus not saying anything wrong with this. This is absolutely fantastic for learning those cyber security basics. So the thing is, though, is this fundamental knowledge to gain that security plus is available anywhere. Let's hop over to my course list, which you can also find below. And I'm going to show you how you can basically create your own cybersecurity bootcamp with Coursera. The link is below in the description, but basically the first part is intro to information technology. 
But we're going to start out with a crash course in technology in Linux, and you can learn the basics here. Also, the Google IT support certificate is really good um, for teaching you that basic and become help desk. Next, I do have this build a modern computer from first principles. So if we go here, you can actually basically learn how a computer is built from the ground up. Now, this might be a little bit extra knowledge that you may or may not need, but it's super cool. And honestly, I wish I had just started out with this instead of doing the CompTIA A+, which I did do. And honestly, I would have learned way more from this project of actually building it than mindlessly studying for certifications. There's also a second part to that if you want to check it out. I suggest it. The next part is intro to network and network security. Network security is super big, super important, and not a lot of people talk about it. I've worked heavily in network security, remediating vulnerabilities on, on the network. There is the basics of cybersecurity networking, and then also Coursera has tons of different labs that you can do. So it, you can use Packet Tracer, and the best thing about this is that these cybersecurity projects are step by step, meaning they're going to basically be exactly what you're going to get at a cybersecurity boot camp, but for a fraction of the cost. And this is honestly the best way to learn, in my opinion, is just by doing projects, which is a little bit intimidating if you've never actually done projects. But you're going to assess Cisco devices, secure Cisco devices, and then you're going to do capstone activities and all of that. And then there's tons of them. You can configure and test basic network security. You can learn how to configure VLAN. You can configure standard access lists. And if you don't know what that is, this is a perfect time to learn by going through these various projects. Verify EIGRP. Also, you can design a IoT home network and simulate it within packet address. Next, we have intro to operating systems. You can learn an intro to Linux, a beginning SQL server. If you have no idea what SQL is, you can go ahead and go through this project. There is an introduction to virtual machines. You can get started with Azure and network without actually creating your own accounts. If you want to go deeper into the Linux and learn just like Linux operating systems, but through more hands-on learning. This is a fantastic project to go through. And then there's more Linux and then server management. If you want to create your first bash script and basic scripting, I suggest going through this course. Next is cloud computing basics. Cloud security is going to grow more and more. If you're wanting to go into learning AWS in the cloud practitioner. You can learn the AWS cloud practitioners right here. This is all included in that yearly subscription for that really low price. If you wanted to use a VPC and learn what that is, you can learn key concepts in AWS. You'll understand what a, a, a VPC is. If you want to learn Docker and deploy a web app, that is also really good. It's also really good at figuring out what you like most. So Docker is intimidating to me. I would probably go through this project. You have Ansible, a great configuration management tool. I remember we were trying to automate network checks utilizing Ansible. So if you know what Ansible is, you can set up your first playbook and take care of setting up a server on your system. You might be wondering, why don't I just start out with cybersecurity? Cybersecurity essentially is everything in IT and software development needs to be secured. And so you really want to have a core foundation. And so by exploring a lot of different things, such as IT, cloud, Docker, Ansible, you can really find your niche and what you really that is why the cybersecurity fundamentals is last on this build it yourself cybersecurity bootcamp by Coursera. As you can see, there is cybersecurity fundamentals. The Google cybersecurity professional certificate is extremely good and it prepares you for the CompTIA security plus. Next, you have IAM fundamentals. This is going to be really important, especially in cloud environments and not a lot of people understand identity access management and 
it can be a beast. It's way, way more than just creating roles and things of that sort. Next is one of the biggest buzzwords, and that is zero trust. If you can learn how the context and how it applies to cloud, we have web application security. Here, you're actually just going to test utilizing Zap, and here you're going to learn about the OWASP top 10 in scanning websites for different vulnerabilities, and then you may even crawl on spider websites to find links and URLs. This is a project, and you'll even have a scanning report super similar to the cybersecurity bootcamp capstone project right here. You may just learn that you absolutely love application security, and then maybe you will just dig deeper into that. The next is the Microsoft Defender and Firewalls. Microsoft is here to stay. You could legitimately just specialize in Windows Defender in that firewall, and you can make an entire career out of it, not going anywhere anytime soon. And so you'll learn basically the basics of Defender, virus and threat protection, quick scans, threat history, firewall and advanced security, and all of that. By going through this Coursera, piece it together, cybersecurity boot camp, you're going to have a great foundation of what exactly cybersecurity is and also the tech field. After going through this, I highly suggest gaining a specialization and you're going to know and have a better idea of what you like and what you don't like. And so it really saves you a lot of time. They do have $200 off for the next week or so. So this does expire and you can sign up below in the description. That course list is also below in that description. So you can go ahead and look at it. All right. And I will see you in the next video.